Hi everyone, my name is Keiko Fries. I'm today at Chicago Music Exchange here in Chicago. Uh, I'm from a YouTube channel called Bassable.com and this is my new signature bass. <laughs> I've been working with Sandberg for over 10 years. Uh, Holger at the Sandberg was one of, one of my closest friends and um, in 2011 they built me a wonderful bass, very similar to this, Tobacco Burst, California, Maple Neck, Klopman pickups, which is something that I personally requested. I wanted to have a single or a simple go-to bridge because that's kind of what I like on these basses and this bass turned out so damn good that over the years that, that we used it on my channel constantly for all kinds of pedal and amp demos, I just got messages like every other day about what's the space where is it from, what's it called, what's all the, what's going on with it, what's special about it. And yeah, we got so many questions that got kind of ridiculous. And at some point I got in touch with Holger and said, hey, we, I think we need to do this a thing. There's so much interest in the space, so let's just do it. So let's talk a little bit about the specifications. Uh, we make different versions of the space. It's not just a signature base, it's more like a signature series where you can have a few different specs. So uh, my base comes with a swamp ash body and a maple neck. Uh, this particular one here is, has a normal ash body, like a Euro European ash body, also the maple neck. And these are kind of the standards which I recommend for this base. I personally think it sounds a little bit better, but we also have a swamp ash version, which is lighter. So if you're looking for a super light base, uh, this is the way to go. But actually, if you're looking for a super actual super light base, Sandberg has an option. Uh, with, an, with a different body wood, which is called Polonia, and these bases weigh less than three kilos, and someone will uh, translate this into pounds. That's going to be about seven pounds there, Cap. Seven pounds. All right, thanks. So yeah, that's what this is incredible, as you can imagine. These ways, bases weigh ne next to nothing, and they sound really cool. <laughs> Sandberg is currently offering this base in two different finishes. We have this, uh, which is called Tobacco Sunburst. You can get this in an aged version like this, even heavier aged if you like heavy aged stuff. Or you can get just a simple mud lacquered uh, version, which just looks like a new base for those who like that. And we also make a black version, so you can get all these options also in black. But if you want to go fancy, if you want to go crazy, uh, don't let anyone hold you back. Sandberg has uh, basically everything. Every kind of custom finish you can imagine, Sandberg will be happy to make it happen. That's at least what I'm saying right now. So just go crazy, order cool shit, and uh, we will be, can I say that? Order cool stuff and uh, everyone will be happy. <laughs> and uh, one thing we definitely need to address here are the pickups, because that's kind of the most special thing about the space. These pickups are hand wound in Germany by a guy called Andreas Kloppmann, and this guy has an incredible collection of vintage pickups from like Fender Gibson, mostly guitars, he's a guitar guy. And his hobby was, I guess, for many, many years to replicate as authentic as possible these vintage pickups. And I've, I've never tried anything else that succeeded so well in this in this realm. And uh, this is his uh, 61 jazz bass set. Um, it's not a regular set, which I have in my original bass, because a couple of years ago he made like a new version of this, which is just, it's basically the same pickup, but it's treated a little bit differently. There's a lacquered finish on it. What happens is there's a little bit of a low end bump, which, or like a low mids bump, which just works incredibly well for the bridge pickup. So that's why I went with a, with a mixed set. So we have the regular one in the neck position and we have this cool new one in the bridge position. And yeah, that's, that's the base. <laughs> If you're interested in one of these bases, of course, please come to Chicago Music Exchange. They will have this particular base here. They will. 
I well, think. unless somebody buys it. I mean, there's a lot of particulars. You know? We will see. However, if you if you're not in Chicago, which is kind of a thing in the world, which happens sometimes, just go to the Sandberg uh, website, sandberg-guitars.com. De. Sandberg-guitars.de. As in. Deutschland. Deutschland. Which is like Where they speak Dutch. <laughs> no, they don't. If you happen to be American, this is Mark. You might remember him from Chicago Music Exchange. He used to be an employee here. I used to be an employee here, yeah. and now I'm not. I work for Sandberg Guitars out of the good old US of A. <laughs> All right. So if you have any questions in America about Sandberg Bases, he's the guy to talk to. And of course, everyone at CME. Anything else you want to share with the world in this capacity? This is Gregor Fritz. He runs BaseTheWorld.com. Freeze. A very freeze. <laughs> and Mr. Freeze over here. And, uh, we, had, and we, oh, we should mention we had Gus in here who also played some sound samples. It's not just Mark, that's Mark. The other guy is Gus. And there's also Mateko. There's a whole bunch of really talented people playing this bass because it's cool and everybody knows it. Okay, look at it. I mean, look at the, look at the aging on there. This fucking cream pickups right there. The Goto Bridge, man. Let's look on the back. Look at the back. You like some Someone put their belt on there and they're just Crazy. like jiggling around on stage and just f***ing it up, you know? It looks awesome and super cool. We all know it. Gregor. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And let me just stop this before it goes crazy. So thanks for watching and bye-bye.